Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so Socrates, uh, the, the idea is that if you, um, well, uh, like even separate from Pega, you know, like the Socratian way, is, is that, yeah. is that yeah. how to put it? Socratic. Well, yeah, Socratic, yeah. there you yeah. go. The Socratic way to learn something is not to tell you everything, but to ask you questions, right? So uh, that's a much better way of learning because then you, you're you constantly being, as the learner, you're kind of being challenged to to think along. And of course, you'll based, based on your level of skills, you'll get more background, less background, and this way you'll be guided through the learning process. And because it, it works both ways. Eh? Like if you normally put out learning content, if it's uh, too difficult, that's frustrating. But the other side of the coin is if it's too easy, you know, many things you already know and you have to read through it and do it. Like, yeah, it's a waste of your time, right? So by following this kind of Socratic approach, eh, you can make it much more personalized and targeted. Yeah. So based on generative AI, right? So we write some prompts. Uh, where we say, well, this is the content actually that someone needs to learn, but then guide the student through it through uh, questions, etc. Um, and that will help. And then also based on you know how you answer those questions, uh, we can e become even more contextual about. Okay, you know, you got point one, two, and four. We just need to help you a little bit with point three. Yeah. And yeah, at first we're going to use that more in our kind of um, impact academy, which is. Uh, basically our product training environment. Uh, but it, this is something that you ultimately just want to bring straight into the, into let's say the developer experience as well, mm. right? So as yeah. and when you're developing applications, yeah, sometimes you just want to have a straight answer to your question, but sometimes it helps also if you're being kind of guided through how to build something yeah. at the right level, you know? And that, that's where Socrates can, uh, you know, Socratic approach can work really well. And then Gen AI, you yeah, know, it's, it's, incredibly uh, easy to create uh, that type of learning with, with you know, Gen AI based methods. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, speaking of learning and upskilling and, and all of those things, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of tools and processes that are getting democratized as, you know, as we've talked about, even, you know, other, other things in other realms, you know, creative and, and other area marketing and, and those things as well, which, you know, I talk a lot about on this show, where should, or, you know, how should enterprises be thinking about, you know, you've, you've got this increasing democratization, which is helping kind of push these tools to more people. I don't think software engineering is ever going to go away and data science is ever going to go away. But, you know, where where should enterprises be thinking about when they're reskilling, upskilling? Like, how you know, what what's the right approach um, to, to think they're with AI being becoming more and more prevalent? Yeah. No, so I think uh, the, the pro one of the potential